Hey, welcome back, Alpha Nuts. So it's hard to believe, but I still have the original battery in the 4C here. And that makes this battery nine years old. Can you believe that? I mean, it's hard to believe that I've even had the 4C that long. <laughs> Time sure does fly. But I've noticed the battery kind of starting to get a little weak. It's, you know, not starting the car quite as quickly as it should. Don't think it's holding a charge as well anymore. So I got this box from Markson. Let's open her up, see what's inside. Wow, you ever seen a battery come with a manual? That's kind of funny. It's an automobile start stop maintenance free battery. Oh yeah, uh, I don't know. You might actually want to read the manual. It's kind of funny. Like I said, I've never seen a battery come with a manual before, so might have some interesting information in here, but you know, probably not. Nice thick cushion. Has a little, little handle here. Let's lift her on out. And this is kind of cool. You can see right on the top here, it says it has a 36 month free replacement. That's not bad, but you know, I'm kind of hoping she lasts as long as the, the Mopar battery in there. Nine years, you know, it's hard to beat that. But yeah, what we have here is a AGM battery. And there's several reasons to go with an AGM battery instead of a standard flooded lead acid. Mainly they can handle discharging and, you know, not being recharged for longer periods of time, which, you know, for a toy car, that's kind of important. And AGM batteries are also spilled proof there's no way for the electrolyte to leak out in them if they get damaged at all and they also tend to be more vibration resistant so doing any kind of hard handling and throwing the car around it's not going to damage the battery at all and these batteries are designed specifically for a start stop vehicle which you know the 4c isn't but the batteries have to handle a little bit of a extra drain on them from systems like that so i'm hoping this battery just you know lasts a long time in the 4c we all know how sensitive the italian electronics are and when you have a battery that you know, it goes below standard voltage, it kind of tends to wreak havoc on these things. So it's good to have that little extra capacity. Here you see it's a 60 amp hour battery with 660 cold cranking amps. I can definitely check that in a minute. And it's got 105 reserve capacity. That's actually quite high. That's really nice. Not really sure what this little plug is for. Oh, I guess it goes on this little exhaust port right here. Might as well go ahead and plug that in, whatever. Now one disadvantage of AGM batteries is they tend to be a little bit heavier than the flotilla acid, but not not extremely so. I don't think it's going to cause any sort of issue. I'd actually rather have the extra reliability that the AGM offers than, you know, it weighing a couple extra pounds. But hey, uh, let's actually weigh it and see how much it actually weighs. All right, let's drop it on the scale. 40 pounds, 0.8. I guess we'll have to check that against the factory battery. See if there's much of a difference there. But yeah, let's get this old battery out of here. And you know, there's nothing really special about changing the 4C battery. It's just kind of awkward to get in here. You gotta get this strap off first. We need a 13 millimeter deep socket to get this nut off right here. And of course the AC Delco ratchet makes quick work of that. With that nut removed, the strap just lifts off like that. And then your rubber top cover comes off. Now we want to take the negative side off first. And what's kind of neat about it is it has like this, this lever. You just pull the lever and it releases the, the battery post like that. That's pretty freaking cool. And of course, this is not factory. You gotta get this little auxiliary cable out of the way. On the positive side, you push this little clip and this little swings open like that. And it's not completely necessary to do that, but it makes it a little easier to getting to this nut right here. And that's a 10 millimeter. You don't have to take it all the way out, just loosen it. And then this whole block wiggles off the battery, just like that. And now the awkward part is actually lifting the battery out. Just kinda like turn it sideways, wiggle it around. Ah, there we go. All right, we also wanna get the little shield off of this guy and we'll stick that on the new battery in just a minute. But take a minute just to compare these two. Well, they basically look identical. But of course, this is a regular flooded lead acid and this is an AGM. And in fact, you can hear the difference. Like, listen to this. <laughs> you can hear the electrolyte slushing around in that one. You can't hear it in the AGM one. Let's see if we can get a weight on the original. 34.2. Well, this one definitely is a little lighter than the new one, but I don't know. I think it's kind of worth the reliability of the AGM to sacrifice some weight. I don't know. It's not really the sports car ethos, right? But whatevs. Before we get this new one in there though, I should probably test it out and see how it is. I got my trusty battery tester here. Pull the little caps off. All right, so we're showing that it's at, wow, like 12. 
eight volts so it's a good thing that they they send this thing fully charged already so that's nice and it's a 660 cranking at battery so we're expecting it to come down to the 600 line or you know in between that 600 and 800 line whenever we hit this switch so let's hit it and see what happens oh wow holy cow i mean this thing is testing out at like a thousand amps do it again just for a good measure and yeah i mean like really this thing's reading it more like 900 cranking amps or a thousand dang that's pretty impressive and you know your battery tester is working whenever it starts to smoke and you know the things are glowing a little bit inside <laughs> wow yeah so already this battery is kind of impressive i like it so let's get this thing in the car real quick let's check out the old battery and see how it is uh, it's already kind of showing weak it's only at 12 volt hit it and oh bummer you know this battery was still working for the car but man i'm kind of surprised it's only showing like a 400 cranking amp battery oh well i mean the battery is freaking nine years old what do you expect that's still damn impressive good job mopar all right let's see if i can manhandle this thing in there Oh, forgetting. Got to put this little wrap on there. This little insulator might be one of the reasons why the, the battery lasted as long as it did. Yeah, keep all this engine bay heat off the battery, which, you know, is impossible, but this thing probably helps a little bit. We'll slide the positive back on first. Just gently snug that up. Close the cover. And we'll take our negative battery post, throw that guy on there, cinch down our lever. There we go. Satisfying click. Now let's get our little rubber cover back on. This of course helps protect the battery from, you know, water coming in just from <laughs> the outside. And then our strap just goes back over the top. We'll put our strap nut on. Switch back over to our 13 millimeter socket and light it down. Give it a little shake test and there we have it. Batteries installed. You know, that wasn't that bad at all. I was totally expecting how it's in this nook and cranny over here, how it'd be much harder to get the battery in and out, but no, nah, that wasn't bad at all. And yeah, initially I'm very impressed with the marks on battery, but you know, as far as batteries go, we'll just have to check back in in five years or something and see if it's still chooching. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already. That way you can, you know, be notified whenever I do the five year update on this battery. <laughs> hey, don't laugh, it's gonna happen. Well, catch you guys next time. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, this was shipped from Amazon. So there's the Amazon link in the description down below. Man, it's pretty wild you can get batteries on Amazon now, huh?